Hey friends and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Morgan and today we are back out in the garden. Big surprise there. Today I am going to start planting some peppers and we'll see how far we can get. I, I got a little carried away with the peppers this year. I was hoping, I think last year we did about 10 pepper plants. Last year was really good, but I wanted to have a little bit more, um, you know, maybe go from 10 plants to 15 or 20 plants. I just counted and I'm currently at 46 pepper plants. So it's just one of those things like you just start starting them and before you know it, you just have like so many peppers. So I'm going to say I'm feeling very blessed for having this many successful starts and we're just going to get started. I will be planting primarily sweet banana peppers. We love banana peppers on like pizza and that kind of thing. We'll be doing cayenne peppers, um, habaneros, anchos, which we can use for like enchilada sauce. We'll be doing cayenne peppers, Tabasco peppers, bell peppers. Really, really love freezing bell peppers and using them throughout the year for uh, fajitas. That's been our favorite use. Um, what else did I say? Jalapeno. I did bring out some tomatillos. We'll see if we get to planting those. They are teeny tiny, so I'm not positive they'll make it out here, but worth a shot. We're supposed to have some beautiful weather here. Another jalapeno and some of my actually chili peppers made it. So this is the Sandria chili that we planted together. And then I have a big gym. I think it was. Yeah. And then I've got that big gym roasting green chili as well that we started together. So they, most of the seeds didn't make it, but some did. And I am so excited about the ones that did because here in Wyoming, I would just not expect to have good success with chili peppers. So I'm super excited to get them in the ground and see what we can make of them. So that's enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and get planting. And for those of you wondering, our garden friends are out there. We have all our five goats back here and then back behind them. I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, but we have a ton of antelope. So super fun. It's awesome to just be out here enjoying the beautiful weather and just also having some animals around us. I love it so much out here. It just makes my heart so happy. I'm laughing at myself because every video that I have, I feel like I have a new lighter solution for you all. And I think I just found my favorite one. Say hi to Lou back there. But look how cool this is. I can literally just, you don't want to touch it when it's hot, but I can literally just burn a circle so easily. And it's refillable. So I just bought a big can of it and I'm super excited about this. I would say this is probably our best one yet. I just got this from Walmart or Amazon actually. It was $14. I will link it down below. I would say this is our winner. And then we'll just take these and throw them away. Love it. Oh, you guys, another thing I feel like I need to update you on is this crazy, crazy weather we've been having here. So today is, what is today? Wednesday. And we had over the weekend, so Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we had like 80 mile per hour winds up here again. And it's not really normal for this time of year up here. Obviously, I mean, I'm sure you all are aware Wyoming is known for having wind, but oh my gosh, it was crazy. So after all of that wind, we then had four straight days of rain. And I mean, this is Wyoming, we don't really get we don't get that kind of rain. We get rain, but not that kind, not that much. So it was absolutely insane. So hold on, let me grab a plant. So we finally 
have had warm enough temperatures. This is a cayenne pepper. So last night we got down to 31 degrees and the forecast is finally looking like spring slash summer has arrived. We're gonna be in the 60s and we're supposed to get another four straight days of rain here. So I'm so thankful, but I'm really trying to get these plants in the ground as quickly as possible because we're gonna have three days of just pure, beautiful sunshine. I'm gonna use those days to plant. And mind you, I still work full time, so I can't just plant all day, every day. I would love to, but it's just not realistic. So I am just spending my evenings after work planting and putting the garden in. Um, obviously it goes a lot slower that way, but it's what works for me. So I really got to get these plants in before for the sunshine and then in before that next crazy rain. This are This is exactly what I'm talking about. We have so many worms like that's just two worms just sitting right there in that one scoop it's oh my gosh so incredible let's make sure they get down there we don't need them drying out All right, friends, we are losing light rather quickly, but I wanted to show you the progress that we made today. As you can tell, the sun is setting pretty quickly. It is absolutely stunning back there, but we are, I'm gonna call it good out here for today. The ground is still soaking wet from all of that um, rain. So I'm gonna let it dry up just a little bit more. And I did get some more herbs and I have some herbs started in the house. So I'm going to now go up, put some potting soil in a few pots and we will get those planted. The reason I'm planting my herbs separately from the garden is because they tend to spread. I know mint can be a real, real issue. Um, we also have like thyme and rosemary and sage and those can also be huge spreaders. So we are going to keep those isolated and in pots so let's head up to the house and we will get those potted up okay so for these these are our herbs i just got and i just got all of these from the store actually that i started some but then i went back and looked and i definitely didn't so i must be losing my brain i did sweet mint i have garden sage mm. flat leaf parsley and then just thyme and cilantro so all I did was I just went to Home Depot and I picked these up. They're really nice because they've got holes at the bottom already and they were $2 each. So they did have a bunch of different colors. I just went with the blue. I thought the blue was nice and pretty. So all I'm going to do is just get these potted up. And I just want to see, so I need to put just a little bit of soil down at the bottom. I always think it's so funny because I have, I don't really struggle, knock on wood, I haven't in the past struggled too much with plants in the garden. I cannot grow vegetables and I cannot grow herbs. I struggle so hard with those two things. So I decided to kind of get a, get a head start this year with purchasing the herbs just to see if that helps me be any more successful because they just have not been my my thing in the past i've been able to grow like random you know artichokes and things that you would think would be a lot harder to grow no problem and things like cilantro and mint i just can't grow if any of else if any of you have had that issue definitely let me know and if you've been able to figure out why that is i would be super curious to hear so all I'm doing is just packing soil. Mostly all I'm doing is making a mess, but I'm just packing the soil around the mint. Let's see if the hands are easier. That's better, much better. You want to push it down a little bit, but not too much.
and that looks good. I love making like mint mojitos and all of those types of things with the mint. Um, and I'm not going to keep the tag. I feel like herbs are so potent. They're pretty obvious to tell what it is. So I'm just going to give this a nice watering before putting it out in the garden. Next is sage. In this gardening season, I'm just really excited because it's a lot of new things for me. Um, using a food cloth, I've never done that in the past. And I'm really trying to figure out kind of what our what's like long-term garden plan is and how we want to execute that. We've moved a couple of times and this is kind of the second year that I've ever been in a place where I've had a garden where I can actually like expand it and grow it. And like the work that I put in this year pays off in the next years to come. And so it's been super exciting for us. I think it's super fun that this is kind of the first year or I guess the second year where everything we do starts to pay off. So I'm super excited to see how the weed cloth works um, and see if that's something that we enjoy. And then just figuring out kind of what works for us and what doesn't. Okay, she's not very centered, but that's perfect. So we have all of our herbs complete just like that so it's the next day and it is very windy outside so i'm gonna head out get some tomatoes planted and hopefully some of the things like our cucumbers and zucchinis and butternut squash and some of the more like viney plants so i'm gonna head out there get going i'm gonna do a voiceover just because it is so darn loud out there i don't want you to have to hear the wind so let's get started Once you get your plant out of its growing container, you can see there's a lot of little hair looking items on the actual stem of the tomato. In windy places like Wyoming, it's important that you dig your hole a little bit deeper and plant the tomato up the stem. Each of those hair looking things is actually an opportunity where the plant can grow roots. And so where it's really windy, it's great that you plant your tomato a little bit deeper in order for the tomato to grow more roots than it currently has and be stronger in the wind. One thing that's really important to note is the type of tomato you are choosing. There is determinant and then there's indeterminate. Determinant tomatoes are more bushy. They require less trellising and they will actually grow and produce fruit up until a certain point and then the plant will naturally die back. Whereas an indeterminate tomato, these are tr traditionally more uh, leafy. They tend to grow up and they do require trellising. These will continue to produce fruit up until a point where a natural cause actually kills the plant, such as freezing or running out of water. And just like that, we are done for the day. Thank you guys so much for joining. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.